yeah, obviously we're super stoked for Theo. Third place in his first junior race was was awesome. So we're really keen to build on that. And I think the important thing is managing expectation, not in any way putting his achievement down, but it's important that we accept that this week in Sayer, there's going to be a lot more riders there and the level is going to be a little bit higher. So we've got a plan this week of things we're going to work through and build towards and manage expectation and keep Theo building in a positive direction. Me and Jack had a call on Thursday of things to work on and hopefully we'll put that all together and get, a, get an improved time. Coming up on Finding Speed, episode two. Ah! Want well, to get 52, Operation B Jack. <laughs> Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Dude, are you okay? Are you all right? Having that, that sort of pro life is just mega and it really pushed me. The last two weeks home have been good. We've reset and uh, we're excited to be back. Obviously two podiums when we were here last time uh, with myself and Theo getting his first junior podium. So that was really cool. First ride day of camp two in March. It's a beautiful morning. Mist over the river. That's blue sky. The sun's about to come up. Just up at the pits, slept up here. Now let's get the pits ready, have some breakfast. Ready for the riders to arrive. Just there. Hi Jack, welcome back to Portugal. Thanks. Sun's just come out for us as well. <laughs> Neil. Last race out, um, some great results for the team. You got first yourself and Theo did really well, podiumed. Uh, do you want to tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, obviously we were super stoked for Theo. Like third place in his first junior race was, was awesome. So we're really keen to build on that. That race was a, a fairly kind of small race in terms of uh, the number of riders that turned up and the level that was there. So we've got a plan this week of things we're going to work through and build towards um, and manage expectation and keep Theo building in a positive direction. One thing that Theo's identified when he tested in San Remo with SR Sun Tour last week is he doesn't feel like he's looking up enough. So we're going to work on getting him to look ahead and process the trail as much as possible, as well as just trying to raise his average speed earlier during the practice. Welcome back to the M. Cheers. Happy to be back in Portugal? Yeah, it's pretty, it's gonna be, gonna be sick. What are you looking forward to most this week? Uh, definitely the camp, working towards uh, getting that three minutes, hopefully. Uh, me and Jack had a call on Thursday of things to work on and hopefully we'll put that all together and, and get, uh, get an improved time. So we've got a few specific things we're gonna work on based on the last camp. Um, the first one is his gearing and the way he's pedaling. We were inefficient, shall we say, last time. Um, so we're gonna be working on that from the get-go. Something that I want him to be doing by run three or four um, is knowing what gears he's in when we're running through th things here at Ventoso. Um, and at lunch, he's gonna talk me through his, his start gear and then his gear changes all the way down the track. We're also gonna be working on um, what I call intensity points, where at the moment, Theo is backing off and dragging the brakes, whereas myself and other elites and high-level juniors won't do that. They will attack more. So we're going to identify those points on the track where Theo feels like he's doing that, put some mini splits out so he can compare himself to himself and the other guys as we go. What was your time last time? Uh, 3.07. 3.07. And you're looking to go for a 3... It's 3 flat, yeah, hopefully. It's a, it's a big target, but... So seven seconds to find him there. Indeed. It's a long track. Perfect. All right then, Theo. So first practice run has just gone down. It has. How are we feeling? Feeling good on the bike, to be fair. A couple of sketchy moments warming up, but we're getting into it. Track feeling everything today? 
feeling pretty good, but there's a headwind in the, the middle split. Third run, uh, gonna, gonna push it, uh, see if we can get that sub three. I just uh, yesterday did a 303, so see uh, see what we can put down on the table. Progression, man. Yeah, man. Good progression. You gotta absolutely give it the beans, then. Yeah, give it the beans. Oh, good shit. Good shit. Right, Theo. Fast lap, let's get it. Sub three, let's have it. It's all yours. Very nice. Come on, keep it on, this is really good. You think this is it? Come on. Well, whether that's it or not, that was fucking sick. Well done. Go ahead, punch the Awesome whole lap. So, Theo, Mr. 59, yeah. talk us through your run. We're back here again. You got what you wanted. Well, yeah, we're back here again. It was a pretty sick run. I was um, dropped in a few mistakes off the start, but so sort of reset and uh, pushed through and got the 59. The top, I was just on on the cranks pretty much the whole time through the, through the headwind and the mid, I was just sort of keeping proper relaxed, so. You ready for this weekend then? What's the what's yeah. the feelings going into it? Obviously, there's a lot of people I know going, so I think there's going to be some good competition. But um, we'll check out the track and see how it goes. I think it was a really good run overall. So, who are you chasing down then? Out of the team boys? Oh, oh out of who's here? Sam or Oscar? Who, who are you chasing down here? Uh, I reckon Oscar. He's looking comfortable at the new speed he's riding at, so I think it will be okay for him to stay at the new level he's got to. The big thing now that people need to understand is when you're a lower level rider and you're trying to achieve jumps up in the speed you're riding at, it's easier to do that because the margins are a lot wider and the room for improvement is a lot bigger. Whereas now Theo's starting to get faster, the margins are getting a lot smaller. For differences in position, he's now looking for tenths of seconds, not seconds. So yeah, it's, it's gonna get harder for him to now move forward through the rankings. So he's just gonna to have to accept that there needs to be a little bit of patience and there needs to be a lot of hard work. But something Theo's got going for him is, is he is a hard worker, he listens really well. He's very coachable because he asks a lot of good questions. Um, he asks a lot of questions. <laughs> the Dunny room. Questions, Theo. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so because of that, like we, we have a laugh and a joke, but at the same time, it does make him a very coachable athlete because he's constantly challenging me to find new things for him to work on and he's constantly pushing himself. So I do believe that as we move through the races, he will keep climbing the ladder. Hi, my name's Sam Hatfield. I'm 16 years old and I'm racing downhill. I race for Sterling's Mondraker Racing, based in Bristol. This year I'll be doing all the nationals and trying to get a jersey for some World Cups, hopefully go out there, as well as some IXS races. So we're here with Jack and, and some, some of the boys from his team just to do some winter training, to try and work out where the speed is. We've got our first race of the season at the end of the week. So yeah, a couple of days training here at Jack's Spike Park. And then yeah, we'll go to the race at the end of the week and hopefully we can pull out a decent result. We'll, we'll try and turn on some pace this afternoon and see what kind of time we can put down here. Yeah. Get it, Sam. Come on, yes, lad. Head on. Oh. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Dude, are you okay? Are you alright? Yeah, so, um, dropped in, had a good top split. Um, felt like there was like minimal winds, pedal pretty hard, hit the two corners good, and then literally just got through the top split and then had a big crash, went over the bars, bike went flying. Um, I'm fine, but um, yeah, no more riding today for me. 
Um, hopefully go into tomorrow feeling all right. Neck's a bit stiff, but other than that, I think we'll be fine. Does this change much for the uh, for the weekend confidence wise? Or are you uh, still no, feeling I good? No, so. I'm still feeling still feeling confident. It's a bit of a, like a freak crash, I think. So it doesn't really change anything for me. It's a bit annoying not to put down a good time and beat Oscar, but but um, but yeah, no, I think going into the weekend still feeling good. So yeah, just gonna beat him at the weekend. Yeah, we'll, we'll do my best. Yeah. yeah, man, sounds good. Yeah, I'd say me me and Oscar. I think we're pretty. Last year we were kind of pretty similar results. He was obviously first year junior and our second year youth, but times comparison we were pretty pretty similar throughout the year. So. He's obviously second year junior on first year, so if I can be on pace similar with him, then I'll be pretty pleased with that, yeah. Oh my God. That was sick. We have to move the sun to the other side now so we eliminate the, the good side of your face. Man, I don't have a bad side of my face, so. <laughs> Portugal. Yep. Just, just a real quick interview. Lap time last time on the, on the test track. What do you get? Uh, I think it was a two fifty five, just behind Jack. This week, what are you looking for? B Jack. <laughs> yeah, just B Jack. That's all. It's my goal at this point. So. So any time, as long as he's faster than Jack. Any time, as long as he's faster than Jack's, will I'll be happy. I know he won't be happy because it, it'll be faster than Jack's for maybe three runs, maybe, and then if he goes and does another, then. We'll go again the next day. So, <laughs> Operation B Jack, yeah. Last week of the race, ninth position, top ten. Yeah. First UCI points. Yeah, I mean, the track was the track in that race was a bit of a shit show, really, wasn't it? So, like Jack got some some people got told race runs, some people got told quality runs. So everything was just up in the air. But I mean, for a quality run of like what what I did and what I wanted to do for a quality run, to put me in ninth, I was happy with that. Yeah. Yeah. So looking forward to this week's race. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, it's going to be. I mean, it's pretty much a World Cup. We've seen this, we've seen like the start list, and there's a lot of big names there. So we'll see how I'm actually going to do in like a World Cup kind of situ uh, situation. It's always it's always weird seeing like the big names and stuff in it, but you just got to get used to it. And from from doing a couple of World Cups as a junior, I'm kind of like, I don't it don't really bother me. Like, it's only another person, and it? it's not like they're unbeatable. So I'll get them Sunday. <laughs> Welcome back to Portugal, Oscar. Yeah, it's good to be back. Uh, a little bit of a tough time at the last race. You had a had a flat. Tell us a little bit more about that. Obviously, a lot of frustration, but I took a lot of positives out of that week, so got to try and take the negatives out and then change it to positives. You always positive into the next race. Well, riding well, riding quick, getting some good times. The only, only downfall, obviously, was just the puncher. So that only limited me getting good result. So other than that, I would have I would have got a good result. So. Um, going forward into the race this weekend, then are you are you fired up for that now? Are you? Well, yeah, I raced it raced it last uh, this time last year. Uh, I did crash on the last corner, which wasn't an ideal. So yeah, but yes, yeah, so I do know the track quite a lot. So that's some that's some good positives going into the week. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully we do well. So yeah, big. Obviously, the standout point of the day is very first run. Oscar's had a crash in one of the big berms, lost the front, gone down hard into the floor, uh, knocked himself out momentarily, and then smashed his shoulder up. So he's in hospital getting checked out, uh, which is obviously a real shame. Going into a weekend, he's real sore, so it does look like he won't be racing this weekend, which is a shame. Um, obviously, Oscar's with us next week as well, so we're hoping that it's just uh, something that with a few days rest will settle down. But obviously, we'll have to see what the hospital say. Yeah, boy. Oh my god. Oh my god. What oh the fuck, Sam? How did you roll away from that? Where's this? Oh my god. There's the track. That's where he went. Uh, it's your first day on the track. First and only day on the track, to be fair. And you're on your new bike. Tell us a little bit about it. A little bit about it. Started off like fairly dry, a bit of rain in the night, so it was. Tracks are running pretty well, and then uh, later on in the day, it's kind of rained a bit more. 
I got used to my bike like dead quickly, so I kind of managed to pick up the pace a bit, but we're still taking it chill because of the race this weekend. Seb's joined us today, which has been awesome. First day on his new bike. Um, talked to it like a duck to water. Looks like uh, he's been riding the bike forever. Um, and certain kind of body positional things that we've seen from Seb in the past where he's been quite on his toes and quite unstable, that just seems to have just gone away. So we've got the bike set up nicely and he's absolutely bossed it today. You'll see from the footage we got, he was just super comfortable in the jumps and in the corners. He's ridden both tracks, ridden both bottom sections. So yeah, um, really cool to get him out with us and it's gonna be interesting to see how he goes on in the under 17s category it'll be. Um, so yeah, um, all in all, really good camp, three great days. Obviously we haven't had the same weather today, but it hasn't rained too much, so it's been great. And we're now just packing up, getting ready to go racing. So yeah, let's get over to Saya, join up with Nuno, join up with Finn. Finn's coming out as well. So we're gonna have seven riders there. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go send it. Cheers some podiums, cheers some wins. We are here. So we've driven to say the sun shone the whole way here. It's just gone in, which is typical, but we've uh, driven over six riders strong. Uh, we were seven, Oscar's hurt himself. He's damaged his collarbone, which is a shame. Uh, but Nuno's joined up with those fins here as well. So we're excited to get on with it. Pits are all set up. We're looking good. We're now gonna head up the track, have a track walk, see if it better changes from last year and get into it. Let's go and see. Careful. Not again. Careful. Careful. Why, why is Jack not raising? Broke himself in track walk in the same kind of aggression last time. <laughs> Decided to wander up, stretch our legs, and uh, yeah, we've changed it a little bit. We went around the back of these steps to show where it is now. We're doing this cool, steep climb, which is going to be tricky. So, yeah, looks good. First time at Sayer, or have you raced here before? Now, we raced here um, last year. The track looks uh, pretty similar to last year. It's had a few little, few little kinks and changes put in, but uh, it looks good. On the way up, we had a, had a quick look, but way back down, we're going to have a proper look at it now. Look back. Track walk, what things are you looking out for on the track walk? Um, just stuff that I've been struggling with like in the past and like you know your flat corners and just holding speed. It's quite a it's quite an average speed kind of track. So if so you can keep your average speed high, you'll probably do quite well. Cheap. Then it's just linking everything nicely and remembering it. It's all very similar at the top, so knowing where you are and where you want to be is uh, is gonna be quite important I think. So Nuno, um, you've raced here before in Saya? Yes, last year. Um, how do you like the track here? It's really good. I mean it's fast. Not, not much many lines, but uh, yeah, just one line, full gears, all the way. It's like the first race, isn't it? Like, this is it, man. We're in the season, so probably zoned in. It's the first time at this track. It is, yeah. What do you reckon, mate? It looks insane at the moment. I mean, we're not we're not too far down, but yeah, it looks sick. What do you like about it? Uh, definitely flat out. Um, corners are proper banked, and there's not too many jumps there. Yeah, it looks dead good so far. It looks pretty, like pretty flat out. Some corners like pretty well built. Some are pretty like off cambered a bit, quite flat. And then there's like lots of fly offs and stuff, especially at the top bit here. Yeah, I'm feeling very lucky to be here. To be honest, um, I imagine not long before we'll be home for a wet Riola, so I'm I'm trying to enjoy it whilst I can. Yeah. Yeah, so obviously chatting with all the guys, helping them figure out what they're going to be doing throughout the weekend. Uh, with Theo, we're continuing on from the great work we did in the February camp and that race where he podiumed, trying to replicate that. He's had a great time at Ventoso uh, for our coaching days. Um, so yeah, so we've been looking at gearing, like we've been talking about with Theo, making sure he's getting the right gears. Big subject at the moment for Theo is brake drag. Um, he's doing a lot of brake dragging. So... We've been identifying points on the track where I'm telling him that I will be off the brakes and he's saying, oh, why? Wow, okay. And his initial thought would have been he would have been braking. So the main thing is figuring out when and how he's going to be braking. Um, and then we'll reevaluate tomorrow after he's done some riding. Good morning. Yeah, cheers. It's, uh, well, it looks like the uplift started, so we Just can uh, hopefully go and uh, get some practice runs in. Let's do it. Enjoy it. Thanks. Crash. I have, yeah. Where? Where on um, the track? On like a big step down into a... I have, yeah. What? <laughs> no. Surprisingly not. What did you break? How uh, are you feeling? Uh, Alright. A bit um, rough, but just straightening everything up, so... Yeah. How's the bike? <laughs> yeah, it feels pretty sick. 
Yeah, it's sick. Yeah, it's sick. Oh, yeah, track feels sick. Oh, bike feels sick. Suspension feels sick. <laughs> so it's what Oscar Hayes says. <laughs> We can just drop that, drop that little clip in real quick. Yeah. How, other than the crash, how did it yeah, go? Yeah, yeah. Uh, got in five runs, so feeling pretty good and uh, having lunch now, and then we'll get back to practice. Just playing the game this morning of like looking ahead, riding fast, but trying to spot the sections where a little bit of break early, a little bit of the smart line will actually lead to a faster exit. So yeah, going to do one more practice run now and then obviously we've got the, the quality seeding run to see where everyone's at and see how the approach is. Breaking inside. That's not it. Inside. Take that confidence you ride with last week, go and put it down there. Mm -hmm. Alright, we are going for some quality action. Finn set a good time in junior, which is awesome. Nuno's following me down. And then we've got Rue on the track, so yeah, let's go get it. Go on, Jack. Go on, Nuno. Go on, Theo! Uh, so, pretty clean run overall, but uh, I washed out uh, over the top of the right hander. It's proper loose, so I hope I can clean that up and speed up a little bit. The, the Shawby Tacky Chans were really gripping up down there. You could feel like such a difference compared to the practice tyres, so it's pretty cool. So, Finn, good run, fourth position, how'd it go? Fast but the spots like there's little breaking points where I don't need to break and stuff like that. But um, apart from that, it was fucking solid, yeah. Yeah, will it? Yeah, well, it? 25 of the Jack Reading, the Gravit School Racing by Sultur. Second place, two minutes and 16 seconds. Hi mate, how have you got on today? Yeah, cheers, good. Um, much better than expected, fifth in seeding. Obviously really stacked fields. Um, Bruni, Verger, Finn, um, Ethan, Gonzalo, to, to name a few, um, lots more. So I was in my head before we started, top 20 was the target for myself. Um, fifth in seeding was a surprise. Run was solid, um, felt like I could go a little bit quicker. Um, so yeah, went up there and just had some fun. Obviously been helping the guys and coaching and running everything. And when I, at the moment when I get in my own helmet, it's just a bit of a bit of me time, you know? So I just enjoy riding my bike and uh, yeah, come down, went faster and came forth. So yeah, uh, crazy. How was your race run? Uh, yeah, race run was, was not what I wanted to be. I, um, my chain came off basically in like the second turn of the track. So pedaled out a bit, heard a crunch. Went to pedal like two turns later and there was nothing there. Cranks were like locked up in an awkward position and uh, yeah, made it made it pretty difficult to ride well. Um, uh, so yeah, not not the best for me. Nuno feels like he started the season in a solid position. He's happy with where he was. He knows he's got to lift it, but um, Rue was disappointed. We got some things we're going to work on this week, mainly corner speed and his kind of discipline. He spent the weekend just charging into shit because he wanted a result, just overcooking everything and carrying no exit speed. So that's something we're going to work on this week. We've made some track changes this morning so that he's essentially got more corners he's got to hit. Theo's kept building. It's been great. And uh, he was a bit disappointed, I think, but really he shouldn't be. In practice with me, he did a 237. In quality, he did a 233. In his race, he did a 230. That's progress. So he's had two really good camps here. He's ridden both tracks now. 
he's made massive progress over the last eight weeks. He should be proud of himself and, and that's really good. But with that, there's a long way to go and he knows that. He's got to keep working hard and, and keep building. Seb's first week with the team in youth, absolutely awesome. First podium, third, he took to the bike really well. He's a super talented rider. Um, I brought him on the team as a bit of a last minute addition. That result that time was as good as the juniors and yeah, he should be proud of himself and I'm proud of him and sick to have him on the team. Finn, I mean, the lad, the lad's an absolute firework. He, went for it he wanted a podium in junior he really pushed he was on for a good time we've seen his crash on camera he lost about 11 12 seconds and that would have put him you know on a, on a really good time like right there with where nuno was so with finn he needs to be a bit more disciplined to drive through his heels and get some hip stability he goes barreling into shit loses that loses discipline and then he hits something and because he's not in the right body position it throws him so um, if he can lock that down and and, and improve that he's going to be a more stable more calculated rider and and that will will go with his raw pace